from the Energy Boutique with your energy forecast for Monday, July 1st. Okay, so welcome to July. There is a whole July energy forecast out there for your listening pleasure. Of course, with a brand new month, there are July Zodiac forecasts for your listening pleasure as well. You can jump over to Patreon, become a subscriber over there, access all 12, or you can download them one by one from my website. Now today we have the moon in Taurus all day, which is definitely going to slow our roll, slow our pace. We want to become a little bit more present. We are going to have some alignments today that are definitely going to make us a little bit trigger happy, really test our impulse control. We also have a lot of pressure building because this is the last day that Neptune is going to be going direct. And this is the last day that Mercury will be in Cancer energy. Of course, if you've already listened to the July energy forecast, you would know that on the second, we have back to back energy shifts taking place that we are going to be thrown into a whirlwind of insight of activation because of these two planets making some very dramatic moves. If you haven't downloaded your Cancer Season e-guide as of yet, I'm going to definitely recommend you do that as well to stay ahead of the energies, to stay in alignment with the energies so that you do not get derailed. With all of that being said, there are 10 different aspects taking place here today and seven of them are going to involve the moon. Before we get into any moon aspects, we actually have Jupiter, the planet of growth, expansion, beliefs, abundance, and blessings in this Gemini energy, really pushing the boundaries of our mental plane, of our thoughts, of our perspective, of our understanding. We have Jupiter semi-squaring, creating a little bit of tension and conflict with Chiron, the wounded healer in this Aries energy. So first of all, this is putting us in a situation where we're really craving a deeper meaning, a deeper understanding to some of the tough love life lessons that we've just gone through. We are definitely wrecking our brains, trying to make sense of things that technically speaking, aren't meant to make sense of. This is a metaphysical karmic chapter that we are closing behind us. We are desperately from our egoic type of avatar and programming, trying to intellectualize, make sense of a lot of the things that again, spiritually speaking, we will never intellectually make sense of. There's not logic. There's not practicality there. It's mystical. It's supernatural. This is definitely testing our philosophical disposition. This is putting us in a situation to really test out our new belief system or watch our old belief system actually crumble. This is going to really put us in a totally different situation to challenge ourselves, to challenge our beliefs, to really see a new strength, new passion, new fire within us. And because this is involving Jupiter and he did really kind of pushes us to be a little bit dramatic and a little bit extra with our thoughts, with our feelings, we may actually create more anxiety, more of a situation than there needs to be. It may feel like you're having some sort of crisis in your faith. That's really not the case. It's just, again, the intellectual part of the egoic programming, trying to make sense of mystical concepts that will never be made sense of. Yes, we do want a greater understanding of what it is that we're currently going through. However, sometimes you just have to take a deep breath. You have to really lean into your heart and soul space and just trust that absolutely everything, regardless of whether it is tough or not, everything is happening in your favor. There is a little bit of a disruption to realize that even the losses, quote unquote losses, are something that needs to happen. Again, you cannot lose anything that is meant for you. So this is going to be an aha moment, if you will, that comes out of a conflict, a tension point, a crisis point to have us kind of seeing ourselves, the chapters that we're currently moving through from a totally different lens. The moon in Taurus energy going to sextile, beautiful interaction with the sun in cancer energy. Anytime that the moon and the sun are coming together, there is going to be an aha moment, especially with an emotional awareness of a want, a need, a desire. The moon in Taurus energy wants us to be present, wants us to pluck out the silver linings of our current circumstance, wants us to start building in our self-confidence, in our self-esteem, in our self-worth. 
The sun still very much, very much in this cancer energy because we're in the earlier degrees. We're still very much focused on the past. We're recognizing where it is that the situations that are currently falling away from us were not providing us with the safety, security, stability that we 100% need in our lives. So this particular interaction is definitely going to be revealing on where it is that we're building ourselves up, what it is that we need to do differently within our emotional and mental plane and in our physical realm to create a little bit more stability, especially where our emotions, where relationship dynamics are concerned. The moon is then going to make a positive interaction with the north node in Aries energy. This is highly significant that we're seeing some growth. We're seeing the ability for us to boss up and heal. We are seeing the opportunity to evolve to the next level of our awareness. This is a beautiful interaction that is giving us a lot of firm and logical, practical steps that we have available in front of us as of right now for us to take to create distance and space away from the old version of self, the old realm and reality, and start building something a little bit stronger, a little bit more stable for our future selves. The moon is then going to semi-square, create a little bit of tension and conflict with Neptune at the final degrees of this Pisces energy. Again, Neptune will be going retrograde here tomorrow on the 2nd. This particular interaction is definitely putting us in a, let's call it a conflicting point of realizing that there is something metaphysical going on here. There is something karmically speaking going on here that our ego programming isn't quite settled with, meaning we are desperately looking to make sense of things that, again, we cannot make sense of. This is going to be a little bit of a realization on where it is that we just have to lean in and trust that there's a greater, grander plan taking place and that we are very much a part of it. Mercury, ruler of the mental plane, ruler of information, communication, how it is that we express ourselves in the final degrees of this cancer energy, preparing to move into Leo energy here tomorrow. Mercury is making a very positive interaction with Mars. Mars is the god of war, ruling over our physical energy, our drive, our passion, our desires, even our anger. He's in this Taurus energy, taking a very low, slow approach to kind of pivoting away from what it is that we thought we were going to be doing pivoting onto a new path, into a new direction. Right now we are building, cultivating the fire, the spark, the flame, the determination, the inspiration, the motivation within ourselves to get started, to actually start putting one foot in front of the other in a brand new path, in a brand new direction. Mercury and Mars coming together in this way, there is a powerful energy taking over our mental plane, taking over our physical form. This is where we're going to have have to learn how to resist impulse, resist these brilliant, beautiful ideas coming in very, very quickly in order for us to actually plan, strategize our move forward in a well-planned, thoroughly thought, carefully thought kind of way. We have no time, no energy to be messing around. The moon is then going to come up to bump into team up with Mars which means that we are definitely going to have a trigger point. There's going to be some strong emotions that take over. There's going to be some wants, some needs, some desires that we are going to have to, again, process and semi-resist taking action upon in a, let's call it impulsive kind of way. We are realizing what it is that we need in order to feel safe and secure, to feel comfortable, to feel like we are taken care of. We do have a little bit of planning and strategizing to do around these new goals, around these new visions and dreams. And this is definitely going to shake us up, wake us up to a new want, need and desire for change. Yes, there's going to be an element of urgency there. Again, this is an opportunity for us to test how much control we have over our mental plane, over our emotions and resist taking action on impulse. 
The moon is then going to make a positive interaction with Mercury. So our heart space, the moon, Mercury, our head space, they're working together. They're on the same page. They're understanding long term what it is that we need to do in this present moment in order to create a stronger foundation for us to be operating from, especially where our emotions are concerned. Again, we're recognizing where it is that we're breaking away from situations and circumstances that are not providing us the safety, security, stability that we need, that we crave, that we deserve. And because of that, we are coming up with a different alternative of what it is that we could be doing in our lives in the present moment, in the here and now to secure a long-term stable foundation for us to be living off of. The moon is then going to sextile Venus. Venus, of course, rules over the Taurus energy. Venus being the goddess of love, beauty, worth, pleasure, and money. She's in this Cancer energy. So there is going to be a major wave of emotion crashing upon us in order for us to realize what it is that we have been putting up with, what we have been tolerating, that is not checking the boxes off when it comes to the wants, needs, and desires that we have, where it is that emotionally, intellectually speaking, our needs are not being met, and where it is that we have to boss up and make some major changes, especially in our relationship dynamics, in order to actually feel like we are being met halfway. Now, the moon is then going to sextile beautiful interaction with Saturn, who is now retrograde in this Pisces energy. And this is giving us a little bit, I'm going to say a reality check, but it's not coming in a harsh way because the sextile is a gentle nudge. It's almost like we're building ourselves up. We recognize that we're about to make a major move. We recognize that we're moving into new chapters that require us to be a different version of self, to fulfill the roles and responsibilities that we now know that we have to boss up into. We are taking accountability and responsibility for our lives and therefore the aspects that are not making us happy, we have to do something about. Saturn, of course, is about boundaries. It's about what we believe we actually deserve. And so the moon being in this Taurus energy, helping to build self-confidence and self-esteem, we are finally seeing where it is that a major growth is taking place, preparing us for major moves, for major roles and responsibilities that come with this new karmic chapter. The last thing that we have going on here today is the sun in this cancer energy, semi-squaring, creating a little bit of tension and conflict with Uranus, the great awakener who is in this Taurus energy. So the tension here is that, of course, the sun in cancer energy, very attached to the past. We're reflecting, we're reviewing, we're revising. We understand the attachments that we have that we're not ready to let go of. But we also understand where it is that we are going to reach a pivot point, especially around around the fifth when we have that new moon in cancer where we release our attachment and attention from the old from the past and we start concentrating on what we could build instead to give us the safety security stability in this present moment and for our future selves uranus the great awakener who usually provides us with clarity is bringing a little bit of confusion because we're not willing to make some changes right now that we know that we need to make. We are resisting change for all it's worth. Again, that Taurus energy that Uranus is in is a fixed earth sign. So there is a very strong resistance to change, even though that we know that we need to make it, we're not ready to make it right now. And so this is kind of limiting us from being able to think too far into the future on recognizing what it is that we have to boss up to in our physical realms to rearrange, to restructure, to rebuild.